Our goal as a company is to provide the highest quality customized nutrition and exercise program in the industry for any dieter to hit their fitness goals, no matter what that goal might be. We're a referral based company that only grows when you've hit all your fitness goals and have made the lifestyle changes to maintain them. Hi, this is Rick with Team THF. Have you ever lost weight just to gain it back? Well, you're not alone. 95% of dieters that lose weight gain it back plus more inside of one year. What the research shows is over half the stuff dieters do to try to lose weight actually damages their metabolism and causes them to gain weight. Well, that's why we created Team THF as the best solution to create a healthy and efficient metabolism, educating dieters on how to get to their goal the right way and maintain it for life. To learn more about our program, listen to Julie's story or call and set up your first free appointment today. My name is Julie Smith and I first heard about the program through a relative of mine and after seeing her amazing results I wanted to learn more about the program than what she had informed me of so I went ahead and called Team THF and made an appointment. My first appointment I was met um, by a friendly staff and was able to have a one-on-one -on -one with my consultant who explained in detail of the diet and the exercise program and what I would need to do in order to get the goals I wanted. The diet was quite simple. When I met each week, I was told exactly what foods to eat and the exercise program that I would need to follow. I left with a printout of each so that I knew exactly what I was going to be buying and exactly what exercise I was doing at the gym. I know what it's like to be a busy mom and always want to put family first and put my kids first. But I knew that in order to be around for my kids, I needed to take care of myself. And with Team THF, they made that program simple enough that I could incorporate that with my busy life and that I was able to do all that I needed to do and take care of my family. And I would refer anyone to Team THF. Call them. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, Jason Johnson. I'm a lieutenant in one of the largest police departments in Salt Lake with the Unified Police Department. And Rick and Jason have been helping me train cops to get in better shape, to watch what they're eating, to diet, uh, to exercise. So we've been working with uh, Unified Police Department. We've been working with also uh, the corrections, Salt Lake County Corrections teaching the corrections officers how to take a little better care of those self, their selves and I've got a, a quick clip really really fast here of some of our team members some of the consultants that work here um, we're growing rapidly we are about to launch a new location in Park City uh, Utah so for anybody watching out there that, that lives in that area or that's a convenient location we're hoping to have that office up and running probably about two weeks. Uh, and the diversity of our, of our group here is growing and changing. So this is a little bit of an overview of what the, what the team members compose of. Now I put this up here because this is one of the slides that we show, or at least I showed today to the law enforcement group. And I didn't do this to offend any of them. I did this to drive a point that in my 20, four-year career in law enforcement, we had never had a fitness or nutrition class. And the average age for law enforcement, anybody in corrections, anybody that's a police officer, does anybody want to take a guess on how long our life expectancy is? Anyone? Come on, guys. Somebody. 36. 36. <laughs> a little bit higher than that, because I'd be gone. I'll tell you that right now. 50, 58. Oh, I was thinking 72. 58. Did you know that retirement age, we're only expected to make it two to five years after we retire? Come on in, ladies. You're fine. Have a seat. So, for those reasons, and the stress as well, obviously police officers, corrections officers, dispatchers, our civilian staff, anyone that's, that's affiliated with law enforcement, family um, is dealing with stressful situations on a daily basis and stress can cause our bodies a lot of problems. Jason is going to get into some of the hormones that are released that cause us to, uh, well, that, that really will impede our fat loss if we're on a fat loss program. 
we don't only do fat loss, we do muscle gain programs. We work with athletes, we work with uh, college and professional athletes. We work with uh, uh, competitors, bodybuilders. But you know what, our average everyday client is people that just have decided they want to feel better, they want to look better, they want to have more energy, and they want to get healthy. And most people tell you that they have found success with this program because it has to do with eating real food that you buy in your grocery store. And it's not a, a trick or a secret. It's science, it's based on science and information that if you do some research and learn uh, a little more, it will support a lot of what we're showing you tonight. So um, we want to try to change those statistics for law enforcement officers, obviously. We want to get uh, more of them in better shape. You know, we obviously we have lots of police officers that are in great shape, but globally as a big family, we can do better. So moving forward, or backwards, I'm going to show you a couple plans real quick. These are some individuals that have come in with some different goals. Uh, this young lady came in wanting to uh, feel better, like I talked about, wanting to look a little bit better. This is about a 12-week program that she went on, fat loss program, and you can see obviously the before and after results that she had. Another client, similar story. And still another client, similar story. Now this young lady was in our group uh, two Tuesdays ago, and I didn't even realize that she was out there as I was talking about her, and she rose her hand and said, hey, that's me. And everybody looked over at her and she still maintained that size. Um, she's been able to not only go through the program and find success and get to the goal weight she wanted, but she was also has also been able to maintain it, which we're gonna talk about, that's tough. That's where dieters, the large percentage of dieters are failing is being able to get that weight off and keep it off. Police officer, I challenged him. Come do a twenty week, or excuse me, a twelve week program. Come in here. Let me let me work with you on this. He was a guy in one of my classes that was cracking jokes and a little, you know, the guy that wanted to be the entertainer in the class. So I pulled him aside because he's a good friend of mine. Thirty two pounds of fat loss in twelve weeks changed his life completely. My story, really quickly, but since we're on live TV. Before and after. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. And I hope everybody at home can see this as well, but this is a little different than you might expect when you come to the Team THF. Uh, you walk into a professional office environment, you have a private meeting with a trained professional, and I can tell you that the consultants that we hire here are some of the best fitness uh, professionals in the Valley as well as we are also hiring people that have always had an interest in the fitness and nutrition and have our professionals in other line of work such as myself that are ready to start maybe working on a second career um, and we, we those people come together we meet our clients within this office setting we find out what their weekly meal plan looked like we talk to them about how their cardio exercise, their resistance training. We look at their body composition. We print reports on all these things. We find out what can you eat, what don't you like to eat. Uh, are you allergic to anything? Is there any exercise you can't do? So all of that is discussed privately with, uh, with your own uh, sales consultant or independent sales consultant when you come into Team THF. You guys are standing in our demonstration room. Part of also, also what we do is you don't have to have a gym membership. It's a good way to go. Probably most of our clients participate at a gym. But you know what? It's not for everybody. Some people don't like to go to the gym and like the privacy of their own home or they have equipment to use in their own home. And I will tell you that you don't have to have a gym to succeed on our program. We can teach programs using resistance bands, um, a ball to utilize as a bench for abdominal exercises, those type of things. And so 
we make sure that you have all the information you need. If we give you exercises, you don't understand them, we teach you how to do them. If we give you food that you've never eaten before, we tell you exactly how much you need to eat, when to eat it, and why. So that you understand when your program's under, or over, excuse me, how to take that into your daily life and do it when you leave the company. We test your body fat. We are going to talk about why the scale, take those scales everybody and throw them away. Get rid of them, chuck them out the window because the scale we've been programmed in this country to think it tells us the big picture and it doesn't. There's other ways that are uh, better tools to check how our bodies are doing, to watch our body composition. We use a, a skin dex test that we we perform in, in the evaluation room, we're able to get a good idea of where your body fat is at, and then we monitor that weekly. And obviously our objective is to see those numbers drop. We can tell what, what type of muscle gain that you're having, we can tell what kind of fat, fat loss that you're having, and we can print that out and show you how that's, how that's going. And then we will build your nutrition plan and your exercise plan accordingly, based on your results every week. Hey guys, this is where you jump in and participate with me. Why are the diets out there today not working? I'll, we'll give you a little, let me give you a little bit more and then I'll, I'll ask for your input. There are so many diets out there today, and, and it may be you as dieters or somebody you know that has been on a diet have tried some of these that you see yourself or your friends or family or whoever lose a tremendous amount of weight and they get 20, 30, sometimes 40 pounds off. But what happens within six months to a year? They gain it all back. All comes back. They gain it all back. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We call that the yo-yo diet trend. And I'm sure that many of you have heard that term before, right? Drop the weight, put the weight back on. What are some of the diets that we're talking about here? Tell me some that you've heard of or that you know or maybe you've tried or somebody's tried over the last three or four years. HCG. HCG. Two of you. Wow. HCG. Uh, <laughs> oh, sir, if you could please. Always <laughs> I'd like to ask everybody to please turn their phones down. <laughs> Sorry. I'm teasing this guy because I don't know about it. So anyway, yes, HCG. And you know what? I'm not knocking anybody that's tried these things because you're trying it because you want to make a difference. You want to lose the weight. You want to feel better. You want to do the things that I've been talking about. But is 500 calories a day healthy, safe, realistic? No? I would agree. I think most of you agree when you really think about it. But see, people are willing to do pretty um, drastic things to get results, right? So what are some other ones? HCG was one. So like lemon diet where you just like squeeze lemons for 12 days. What's that one called? Lemon juice. Master yeah. cleanse. Yeah, master, master cleanse. cleanse. <laughs> and then you put like the cayenne pepper in it or Master something. cleanse. Yeah. Does that teach us after we get the weight off? So then what do we, what, then what do? We do? Yeah, yeah, because how do we know how to keep it off, right? So exactly. Um, a couple more. Any others you can think of? Just even the Weight Watchers point system. Weight then Watchers. Just a brownie all day. Yeah. And hey, that's my points for the day. Weight Watchers for everybody listening is not a bad program, and, and some of these programs work. But the question to ask is, can you eat? Um, if it's a plan that's saying eat our, eat our meals, our specialized meal plans, and you can't go into every grocery store, Nutrisystem, there's another one. Do you guys want to eat that stuff the rest of your life? No. So we have to have something that's based on science that we know we can actually eat real food. And what you're going to find out today is most of the people that uh, come in on our plan generally have a hard time eating their meals the first two or three weeks because there's so much food, um, which may sound strange to you, but we're going to talk about eating lots of small meals, probably some concepts you've heard before, but we're going to teach you some things on how to eat the
the right things at the right times and hopefully um, give you some information that you can look at and make some tweaks and changes on your own.